Three, two, one. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to the, the domain. domain. Yeah, we got it. Uh, you're joining us today for another big reveal. This is the next step in the development of the Traxxas Tower Flood, which I know has been like probably the most anticipated set, um, but Kellen knows nothing about it. Um, a little forward note today. Um, I just got back to Minnesota about 48 hours ago. Less than. Less. Le much less, less than, actually. And um, it's been a tornado. It's been a tornado. And um, yeah, life uh, can be pretty damn challenging sometimes. But when the community needs support, I have to step up, right? It doesn't the matter. Community the community needs me, bro. I didn't want to make a video. But today, it has but been tired. It, it's been an exhausting time. So I thought, you know, we have to step up. We have to review this Praxis Tower flood. The community demands it. Nay, they Content, content, content. It. Yeah, so here we are today to talk about the Traxxas Tower Flood. Uh, Kellen, what do you think the Traxxas Tower Flood is from the name? Well, it's definitely a tower that is probably a defense tower against a flood outbreak. Bingo. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. do you know why it's so... I don't know what Traxxas means, though. No, I think it's Wait, just the name of a is company. Is it an acronym? I think it's the name of a company. Well, he didn't know. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I even Googled Traxxas. I thought he was the mega constructs guy. Okay. Traxxas. Hey, hello. Traxxas Heavy Industries. Traxxas Heavy Industries is a human industrial company, one of the largest human industrial businesses. It was ubiquitous on Earth as well as Reach. So I guess during the uh, invasion of Earth during 2552, um, the flood went to this Traxxas facility. I imagine it's probably in... Oh, Traxxas Tower is in Halo, yeah. It's on Reach, though. But Reach was never invaded by the flood. It was glassed by the Covenant long before the flood. Uh, maybe there are Traxxas Towers all over. Maybe there's one in Halo 3 as well. Uh, because Halo 3... Yeah, there's facilities on Earth, Reach, and Andesia. Well, it's a good thing that the show broke away from... Um, the the law, because clearly the, lore, clearly yeah. the, the blue team timeline is, is, is terrible. We don't yeah, need this yeah, Traxxas yeah. Tower stuff. This Traxxas Tower is not canon. We need silver team. But does it matter? The TV show is the only canon now. It's the best one. <laughs> let's just... Let's just okay, okay, we also... We never, uh, we never were able to put together the review of, like, the end of the season. So we might no, we might need to do an end season. Yeah, we might need yeah. to do an end season. Review. That's because we were in different countries. We, we were hope, in different, we hope you different can countries. Understand. Yeah, on different continents. It's count. So the Traxxas Tower, um, so basically Traxxas Tower, I guess, is a facility in Halo. And uh, do you know why it's so important that we're getting a flood set right now? Because there hasn't been an updated flood set in a long time? Yes. There has not been new articulation flood ever. There's never been new articulation flood. And we've had new articulation. Yeah, we've had new articulation for about uh, six or seven years, maybe seven or eight years. And there's never been new articulation flood. There hasn't been a new flood set for like, I don't know, maybe like six, six or seven years. We got new articulation marines and flood invasion, but all of the flood was still old articulation and he's holding his needle upside down <laughs> in, the, in the product imagery. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. This it's funny because he's AC. So he's mm. AC got it upside down. So you got quite an eye there, Slime. Thank you, quite thank you. Um, the, there have been a lot of flood sets over the years. Uh, flood Hunters Battle Unit, that was an exciting one. Uh, you've not even fought the flood yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that with you. I, ha I fought the flood originally back when I played like Halo 1 and 2 for the flood first time. Flood Hunters Falcon, that's a dope set. Uh, convert ops falcon there's been a lot uh maybe like maybe seven or eight flood sets i'm gonna do a video in the future let me know if you want to see this of every flood set that's ever been released i think it'll be a fun fun little to do but yeah uh mega have been wanting to reproduce the flood for a long time but they have a very strict budget every year for uh new pieces and new molds so the the new games circulating you know it's always driven i think mega to just ignore the flood even though it's kind of crazy because the flood are worth so much money secondhand look at that that's 115 dollars for some old flood yeah so the flood is like uh, oh there was a new articulation flood like that but that's the halo 4 design of flood and like, that's that's like they actually produced it like that that's not like someone else no it's quite it. nice isn't it oh, it's it's nice. Nice. there's only two of them that exist and i love popping them onto like other like brutes bodies and things but yeah we've not had any new articulation elite combat forms which is what you want to see and you can see the little elite's head on the uh, top of that Whoa. Um, as it's been pushed up by the biomass uh yeah so we're really excited for new articulation flood and uh mega was planning to do this for a long time 
Um, they did two different fan votes. You know the fan votes, right? I do know the fan votes. And, um, and this the, one lost. Well, no. yeah, the first fan vote. This is the one you pushed for, right? Yeah, the first fan vote was between four characters, CQB, Haunted Helmet, Thrall Slayer, which I was always team Thrall Slayer, always, and this Flood combat form. So they wanted to do New Articulation Flood, but the Haunted Helmet won, and it's coming out this, uh, it's coming out probably next month. Uh, it's okay. I like that Haunted Helmet. I team Thrall Slayer, I like the bro. big fat monkey. The big fat monkey, yes, yeah. brother. Yes, yes, yes. We love the monkeys on this channel. Well, um, the Arbiter. The second still, fan still vote the came along. You know, yes. he's, he's the man. And you remember this second fan vote. This was uh, between a Unisee Cougar, a Banished Reaver, the Flood Traxxas Tower, or Warden Eternal. Well, definitely I was, the Warden Eternal. I was Warden. Team Warden Eternal. Yeah, I've always wanted a Warden Eternal. But uh, the winner was the Traxxas Flood Tower. And uh, no, oh. I'm, I'm okay with that, though. Yeah, I'm okay with okay. that. So if you see, this was the original. They were all sketches by the mega team. But the Flood Traxxas Tower won. And it is well, looking how you to be get in a really good set. Flood set so. Yes, and Mega have jolly day. Yeah, exactly. And Mega have been updating us recently on the production of this uh, set. And this month, in a couple of weeks' time, they're going to reveal the figures, the new articulation flood. I think, uh, from from good authority, there's some more to this set than uh, than we know about. <laughs> it's more than meets the eye. Yeah, I, I, I got some inside scoop, but I I, can't I say. believe I can't say. Um, but this set will that will, it's gonna will be exceed, it'll, it'll exceed expectations. The figures, oh man. Expectations. Um, so, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I missed you, dude. I miss you too. Hey, buddy. I miss you too. Yeah. I've got no place to put my fun energy. The band's back in regular everyday life, like everybody else. Mm. So, uh, the flood, the flood tracks is out. We've seen this sketch before, mm -hmm. um, and this is the concept art. So cool. we knew that yeah. we were getting some kind of shipping container. Yeah. We thought it was going to be the same shipping container as we've seen in Call of Duty lines. Then we have all of this uh, little industrial complex. We've had something close to this before called Floodgate. Um, and it was it was nowhere near as good, um, but it was it, it, it was all right, you know. Mm. It was basic, you know what I've been it's promoting. Okay. Uh, the, it's okay. the thing that Mega, well, the, the two things, no, the three things I always promote with Mega is uh, chase figures need to return to blind bags. They're better than Lego. They need to re-release old sets, and they're better than Lego. They need more structures, and they're better than Lego. Um, they need way more structures. Uh, also, the last time the community saw you was Mega Construct Sucks, so I don't think the community likes you anymore. Hey, Kellen, do you collect Mega Constructs? <laughs> Bro, that's like more like Mega, Mega Constructs! Oh, <laughs> yeah. You gotta earn that trust back. Dude, it's not my fault that they named themselves Mega Constructs. <laughs> Got it, dude. This looks all right. I I've been always been saying that the uh, Mega line needs way more buildings, way more structures. Mega have now shared the first uh, promotional uh, image or kind of like render design of the Traxxas Tower, and it exceeds all expectations. It really does. So uh, let's see this. Show me, show me, show me the reveal, the reveal, the reveal, reveal the reveal, the reveal. Okay. okay. So first of all, we've got a forklift. Mm. Now, is that the same forklift? No, these are four different designs for the forklift. So um, the forklift is actually a pretty legendary vehicle in Halo. You can drive it in Halo Reach and get up to lots of shenanigans. So the community has always actually wanted a forklift from Halo Mega Construct. That's some fun deep, you know, some some deep layers. Some packed stuff, out you know? law, yeah. That's um, a that's a good uh, Easter egg. It is a good Easter egg. Yeah, the kids at home. Um, and yeah, the, the first thing we'll show off is this forklift. The Traxxas Factory Flood Set. That's a mouthful. The Traxxas Factory Flood Set. The Traxxas Factory. Uh, the exactly. Traxxas Factory Flood Set. The set is going to include so much goodness. The return of the flood to the Mega Halo line, new micro action figures, and an industrial location based on the classic game level. But today we're looking at the forklift. Your votes gave us the opportunity to finally build this legendary Finally! Vehicle, as lead designer Kevin puts it. The forklift has reached a mythic status within the fandom. He shared with some of his experience. Tap in, tap in. Tap in, tap go. In. Designers usually start with a rough build at the concept stage, which then goes through a series of reviews and refinements. This process lets the team experiment with scale and different building techniques until they get the shape just right. Nice. To build these prototypes, they use whatever pieces they have on hand. Final colors and prints will be decided later. Mm -hmm. The first version of the model proved to be too wide. <laughs> this <laughs> is like Goldilocks. So in versions two and three, the team set out to bring the forks closer to get. 
<laughs> he keeps blocking it. <laughs> so bring the forks closer together and reduce the vehicle's overall footprint. It was also clear that the piece used to lift the arm wasn't quite right. Uh, wasn't quite the right shape. The team opted to create a new piece to get the angle just right and give a more faithful silhouette to the build. Mm. This new piece can be seen in the final version. It was 3D printed for this prototype. This final build incorporates everything we learned from the previous three versions. Nice. Plus a few adjustments to the structure and proportions, Kevin said. Now that's a forklift worthy of the mega name. Now that's a forklift worthy of the, the mega, mega name. name. Yeah. Mega forklift, mega forklift, mega forklift. We're gonna get a forklift. All cool. right. Um, and that that news was 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 dope enough. Like I, I'm happy about the forklift. I was kind of indecent. Uh, I was kind of indifferent. I didn't indecent. I was, <laughs> I was kind of indifferent. He's an indecent guy, <laughs> Simon. I was kind of anyway. indifferent about uh, the need for a forklift, but now I see it. It's it's cool, and it is especially nice that it will be able to be moved up and down. Uh, but what I'm really here sick, for, sick. what I'm really here for is the building. We, we hope you enjoyed this peek at what went into creating the Traxxas Factory Flood Forklift. We'll bring you more behind-the-scenes updates in the coming weeks to show you how this set is coming along. Until then, tell us what you think of the forklift and let us know if you have any questions about the design process. You said process, I said process. Yeah, and I said process because my English is better. This is America! There was a, a week <laughs> break, uh, we didn't have any more information, and Mega finally shared the finished build for the track oh! tower. Alright, so I'll show, you, more I'll show you it first. Is Ready? there more than reading that I have to do? Yeah, I'll show you first. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Wait, but wait, uh, ah. boom. Whoa! Yeah. That is a lot more than I expected. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the best uh, building no. they, I've ever seen. With now, it. here's the thing. You were just telling me that it's a big problem that Huge. they lack structure. Huge problem. Um, you, this is a you got big it. structure. You got it. Yeah. You, you absolutely nailed that you one. You go, Kevin. Look at this crate team. Bro. Like, look at that. Do you think it actually picks it up? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You can see it. It'll definitely pick it up and you'll definitely be able to move it along this conveyor belt. See, I look at this and I'm like, you know the design team had such a fun time with like, oh, they were like, guys, we're gonna build a crate lift. And they're yeah. like, yes, dude. Like, <laughs> yes, Kevin. Let's yeah, go, Kevin. Exactly, exactly. Um, I just love everything about this, bro. Like, it's amazing. Imagine just filling this with like 50 flood and it just being this insane like daisy outbreak. I love it. Daisy? Daisy. Like zombie. Daisy, huh? Daisy. We're back with another update on the Traxxas Factory Flood. This time we'll be looking into the overall structure that frames this fan vote winning building set. While most models go through several versions before they're approved for production, as seen with the forklift, the main build representing the factory interior came together quickly and saw only minor revisions. To help our concept artists draw the sketches that were used for the fan vote, lead designer Kevin built the structure in a rush. And that original build proved so accurate that only minor tweaks were needed afterwards. Version 2 is what you see here, and this is more or less what will go into production. These aren't the real colors, and there could be other small variations. Kevin's the OG. Kevin's the Kevin, OG. Kevin lays it down for the team. Mm, Kevin, I think well I, I want Kevin to be famous on this channel. He he, he might be. The, uh, Designer Kevin? See, uh, uh, sneak, sneak peek. Um, yeah, me and Mega are, uh, are planning something cool for this channel. Uh, I can't say anything else right now. It was important that the set structure accurately represent the Halo 3 level it draws from. The design team packed in as many details as possible. Catwalks, floodlights, stairwells, shipping containers, Traxxas branding, so many printed pieces, and the iconic bridge. It's all in there, and it's insane, insanely recognizable. Instantly, Instantly recognizable. recognizable. I need to go and play that. I need to go and play Floodgate again, because I don't remember this walkway. I'm sure it's like absolutely there, so we need to go and play Halo 3. <laughs> what a nerd doesn't remember. To give the structure more depth and to make the set more toyetic? Toyetic? Right? I've never heard that, never word. heard that word. To make the set more toyetic, the team called in. Uh, 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 the team added a ceiling in the form of a working crane. The crane is a new creation, it does not appear in the game, and was only added in version 2 to offer more dynamic play options. That's what I was talking about, you know they had fun making that. It hangs over the set to complement the structure and is operated by a winch. It can crank up and down or slide side to side. The crane can be used to pick up and move the included container. The color palette will tie back to our older flood sets, so longtime collectors will be able to display them together. To offer even more display options, the set was designed in a modular way. 
Although shown here in the official configuration, the instructions will suggest a few alternate ways to assemble the set. Yes. And what happens if you buy multiple copies and combine them? You'll have to tell us. Ooh, Ooh boy, baby. There, there are, are even more goodies packed in the Tractus Factory Floods main build. build. But, but we, we don't, don't want to spoil it all. Let, Let us know what you think in the comments below. Next time we look at the figures that come with the set. Mega! Good job, guys. Absolutely good. Just amazing work. The promotional opportunities for Mega. Like, you've done your first ever um, fan vote for a set that wasn't tied to, like, an exclusive convention. And I think the reception has been so exceptional. The sky's the limit. We could, like, we as a community could be designing so many sets going forward, right? If this, like, continues to gain momentum, like, the, the, I, I see Mega just giving more and more control to the community. Because, like, look how good this is for their publicity, for the public wanting to buy the set because they, you know, helped vote for it. Even for just the public's general reception of uh, Mega's cooperation with us. Like, it's so good. It's so good. The, the more we go into 2022, the more you'll realize that Mega's cooperation with both my channel and the expanded community, it's just gonna get better and better. Like, honestly, better and better. So, Woo! pumped up. We got some better looking images, some closer looking images. Spanker, Magnum, Tactical Shotgun. We got a couple of things in there. I can't really tell what they are in black, maybe assault rifles. And this is a little weapons rack. We've never seen this before. Got some grenades in there. Fusion coils, great. A chain gun, all those sandbags. A little barrel, a traffic. You know, the, these traffic cones are classic of old flood sets as well. Two fusion For coils. Sure. Look, uh, even those new crates. I, I think yeah. a lot of this is borrowed from Call of Duty. That that uh, that shipping container definitely. For looks like it is. sure. Dude. For sure. The whole thing looks so gorgeous. Um, I love the multiple levels. It reminds me. That's so of, sick. It yeah. looks even cooler from this. Look at that. Look, it's picking up the crate. But then never let me down. Uh, or, or mess me around. Worst of all. Now call baby when you say you will, say you will, but I love you still. I need you more than anyone, darling. I don't know the rest of the world. It's amazing, bro. It's so cool. And I I just, I envisage so many dope dioramas with this thing. Diorama. We've also got to compare this. So Brickman117, legendary de uh, designer and builder. But he, after the fan vote winner, he actually designed and constructed Atrax's flood tower. So we got to see how close it is um, to what what was what was eventually made. Like he envisaged the crane, but the crane wasn't even part of the build at first. So what do you think? Pretty accurate? Shockingly close. Shockingly close, bro. Like that's outrageous. He even got the levels right. Like the multiple levels. Um, I'm kind of shook, honestly. I'm I'm. That's bizarre, isn't it? Like that's bizarre. How it's close almost it is. exact. It, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, bro. It's almost exact. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Good job, Brinkman. Honestly, good job, Brinkman 117. That's so dope. That was in March? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight after the fan vote. He just right. like... He knows Kevin or something. I cannot wait um, for the actual new articulation flood to be uh, revealed. This will be available next year. So, uh, cannot wait. Cannot yeah, wait. But more importantly, the Premier League starts in less than a month. My brother's 30th birthday, everybody. So... How about a round of applause? Let me know in the comments down below in the description. what part of this are you most excited about, apart from the flood, which obviously is the number one. The forklift, uh, I wasn't that bothered about it at first, but when I see it in the actual full scale uh, diorama, it looks great. Diorama! Mega, uh, you are interacting with the community more. You are clearly listening to the fans and actually responding to the fact that we need more diorama set pieces. I love it. Congrats, Mega. Big, big, uh, big hand to the, the jeans up top. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Wish us luck on our long car ride to Wisconsin. And the domain... And Kellen. ...is signing up. The domain Ooh. is Simon and Kellen now. No, it's it's the Mega Constructs man. I'm like a... The Mega Constructs I'm the dude. Robin to his Batman. Know, know your role. Mm. Signing off. See you next time. Also, you're my cat. <laughs>